Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Agnes. In today's tutorial, we are going to be completing this set by making this sweater. I already have the tutorial for the skirt and I will leave the link in the description box as well as in the comment section in case you want to make the whole full set. But today's tutorial, we are making this sweater. You can make it in two ways. I have this cropped looking like, which is not so tight at the waist. And then I have also the version of where I add this waistband, which makes it a little bit tight at the waist. So it is up to you to choose what you like, what your style is, and you can make that. I'll be giving you both tutorials so you can style it in different ways uh, just choose the style that you want do you want it long do you want it short and that will be it so let's dive into the tutorial you will need a tape measure scissors yarn for yarn i'm using four colors i have the volidu and uh, 50 grams 133 meters it is acrylic yarn and i used about uh, four skeins of each color all right so we will be using all the four colors for the hook size i'm using an eight millimeter hook size since i'm combining all of them for uh, the yarn i'm using two different types and this recommends 3.5 to 4.5 hook but since i'm using all of them i'll be using eight you can use nine so for the sweater we'll work two panels first we'll work the front panel then we do the back panel and then we do the sleeves once we're done with the sleeves that's when we work the bottom all right so we start with one of the panels they are very identical so i have my four strands four different colors you can use three you can use one color depends on what you want uh we are going to make a slip knot. If you're, this is medium weight, not medium weight yarn, but DK yarn. So if you're using something like chunky yarn, you only need like two strands. Or if you're using uh, medium weight yarn, you need like only three strands. Okay. So make a slip knot. Don't make it so tight. And we are going to make a chain that is equivalent to our shoulder to shoulder measurements. So this if you want the fit that I have on that kind of fit but if you want it bigger then you go ahead and add a few inches to what you want if you want something baggy you know something oversized add a few inches but if you want it this fit then shoulder to shoulder measurements okay so I have my shoulder measurements mine is 15 inches and that's the chain that I made 15 inches in the end, it will add a few inches, but for the start, it is 15. All right. So once you have your chain, we are going to start on row one. So for row one, we are going to be use we are going to be using the single crochet. So you'll skip your first chain and go into your second chain and make a single crochet like this. We'll go into the next chain, make our second single crochet. Make sure you're inserting and pulling through all th four strands. Okay, don't leave out any strand. And we are going to make one single crochet in every chain until we get to the end of this chain. And I'll come show you how we start on row two. So my stitches are not very tight, as you can see. Okay. I love how the colors combine and form this tweed looking like pattern. All right, so I'm at the end and this is going to be my last stitch. Then for row two, so it looks like it's very cozy, very heavy and very warm. So for row two, I'm going to chain one turn my work and I will work a single crochet in my first stitch right here 
we have two loops up here right below them that's where we're working so we are working single crochet in every stitch don't lo don't leave any st strands make sure you have all the four on your hook and this works really very fast i made this sweater in like i don't know five hours or six hours so this should work very fast you can make the full outfit in less than 10 hours really all right i'll meet you at the end of the row so i'm at the end and i will show you where i make my last stitch so this is my second last stitch and please make sure you don't forget to put your last stitch in here so the number of stitches on row one should be the same number of stitches on row two and every other row so you are not reducing you're not increasing same number of stitches all through row three we are going to chain one turn our work and make a single crochet in that very first stitch go into your next stitch make a single crochet and basically this is going to be our pattern it's easy as that single crochets it's a quick pattern it's a quick um tutorial and we are going to just continue doing this until you have the height of the sweater that you want and i'll meet you so that we can do row two so just keep repeating single crochets from one side to the other side one side to the other side not reducing not increasing same number of stitches okay so i have about 12 and a half inches that's how long i want my sweater to be okay so if you want it longer continue ahead and add more inches if you want it shorter reduce the inches so this is totally up to you how do you want it to fit do you want a long one a short one do you want a cropped a cropped one so once you have that do your second panel very identical they should be the same number of rows right and once you have the two of them then we are going to join them at the shoulder part okay the two so that we can continue with our sweater so how do we join them we started with 15 but it increased up to about 17 this depends on like the tension of your hook or your stitches and everything but now we, i have 17 and i want to leave seven inches as the neckline so we want to leave seven inches at the neckline so how do we determine the rest so we get seven 17 sorry which is mine 17 minus 7 then I, uh, I have a remainder of 10 divide by 2 then each side I will leave 5 inches so 5 inches on this side 5 inches on this side that makes 10 and then I have 7 in the middle okay so I'm just going to do that and put stitch marker so that rows on one side should be the same rows as on the other side and in the middle here is 7 inches okay divide by 2 five five okay so i'll put the stitch markers now so i have my five inches here i'm going to count this number of stitches here where my stitch marker is there and it will be the same number of stitches i leave on this side so i'll put my stitch marker here so i have my stitch markers here this same number of stitches and in the middle i have seven inches you should have seven inches as well all right this will be our neckline so let's join so to join this shoulder part i'm just going to go in this chain here in the chain stitch here and pull this through okay so we are going to be working only in the outer loops you see the two loops here i'll work only in the outer loop so it's that my hook in the outer loop only one loop that is on the outside and also on the outside of the other side like this and then slip stitch 
outer loop here the outer loop on the other side and then slip stitch so I'm slip stitching only in the outer loops for both the front panel and the back panel and I'm going to do this until I get to where my stitch marker is So now here where we are working will be your wrong side. This will be a wrong side and just continue until you have where you get to where your stitch marker is. I have a cold and I'm feeling tired in case I'm just, you know, not sounding okay. I remove my stitch marker and I will put my last stitch. And then I'll just chain a one and cut my yarn and then I'll do the same thing for the other side so go ahead and do the same thing for the other side this is how it looks here and this will be on the right side so the right side will look like this okay this is where the loops were leaving out Attach this side. I don't have to show it. It is the same thing like the other side. All right. So I have my two sides attached. This will be the shoulders, and this in the middle will be the neckline. So now we need to determine the the sleeves. So I'll just turn it like this. So we'll work the sleeves here. So <laughs> okay. So the sleeve will be along this this line here okay but how do we determine our sleeve i just take my measurements and my upper arm is 10 inches and i want to add 5 inches to that so i want to make a sleeve that is equivalent to 15 inches so you can determine take your also your measurements arm measurements and add 5 inches okay so my sleeve will be 15 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 which means folded like this is the whole of it is 15 okay that will be my sleeve okay so when i turn my work like this this is where i want to work my sleeve you can cut the yarn and you know i don't know why it's still there but anyway on this side i will work 7.5 that's on the front panel on also 7.5 inches so I'll put a stitch marker there and then on the other side from the shoulder to the back panel, I'll work 7.5 inches. Okay, 7.5 and I'll put my stitch marker here and from this side to the other side should be a total number of 15 inches. Okay, this is for me, I'm working an extra small size. So I have my stitch markers. As you can see from here to the other side is 15 inches but when it is from here to the middle it is 7.5 inches okay do you understand what I'm saying this is the neckline so we are working the sleeve along this whole thing all right so we are going to reattach our yarn where we have our stitch markers and this is on the right side i want to start on the right side okay so i'll remove my stitch marker insert my hook reattach my yarn and we are going to be working with single crochets okay so I'll put my first single crochet, crochet in that very same stitch here. And I'm going to go in every stitch with a single crochet. So single crochet here. This is my next one.
so i will work single crochets in every stitch until i get to where i have the other stitch marker Now this I'm getting to the shoulder part right in the middle where we joined our two panels I'll put a stitch in there and now I'm moving on to the other side of the other panel one single crochet in every stitch until here all right so I'm at the end I went all the way to the other stitch marker and i will remove my stitch marker and replace it with a single crochet so i have my 15 inches okay so chain one turn your work and we are going to work our second row which is a row of single crochets so it's basically the same pattern like we did with the front panel like we did with the back panel now we're doing with the sleeves and it is single crochets all through so every row you are going to work a single crochet row until you get to the length of the sleeve that you want i want my sleeves to be 16 inches before i put the cuff okay so measure yourself from your shoulder to where you want your cuff to start and know how long you want your sleeve to be and that will be it. So you just keep making single crochets, making single crochets until you get to the point you're satisfied with the height. So I'm at the end and of this row. Just like we did, we did with the front panel and back panel. This is my last stitch here. And then chain one, turn my work and start my third row of single crochets. So this is my first single crochet. Going to the next stitch, make a single crochet and you are going to repeat. Like I said, repeat this pattern until you have the length of your sleeve that you want. And I'll come so that we can sew it together and then put the cuff. All right. Same pattern. Just repeat single crochets all through. No increase, no decrease. I'll meet you so that we can work on the cuff. All right, so this is how it's looking like. My sleeve is 16 inches long before we put the cuff, okay? This is my last stitch here. All right, so we are just going to fold this like this. Uh, when we fold it, you see we have a, a sleeve, right? So this is the neckline i already did one side of my sleeve but do not worry because i'm just going to show you right away how i did that with the other side because it's the same thing it's like mirroring the same thing okay this is my cuff we will do that too so we are going to join from this whole sleeve but from the wrong side. So turn your sweater inside out. Okay, so once I have my sweater inside out, I will join this all the way to the cuff. From this side of the sweater, all the way to the cuff. And this is on the wrong side, as you can see, okay? So we are joining on the wrong side. So arrange it nicely like this front panel to back panel and then the of course the other side of the sleeve so i get my yarn reattach here at the bottom so let's reattach the yarn 
so i run out of the blue yarn and i'm un unraveling something else that i had done to use this that same yarn so that's why it's looking weird all right so we are going to join this using the slip stitch like we did with the shoulder part so just this time round, you are just going to go in with a slip stitch in every stitch it doesn't matter if which loop it is we are not doing like the outside outer loop or anything we are going into every stitch with a slip stitch make sure you're going into every stitch without you know uh, skipping any otherwise you'll get like to the underarm and then find you have less stitches one side you have more stitches than the other so just try to see that you're going into the correct stitches on both sides Yeah, these are matching on both sides. Now I'm going in this below one. The one that's in like in the valley valley. And the next one is like at the top. And this one that is this ridge here. And yeah, basically do that get through the underarm and we are going to go to the underarm and then to the sleeve until the end of the sleeve okay so slip stitch in every stitch all the way here and all the way to down here I'll meet you there. Alright, so I came all the way like this and down like this, a sleeve. Okay, so this is what we have. And yeah. So we are now going to make the cuff. Okay, so I turn this the right side. As you can see, this is the right side. You see? okay this is the wrong side so now we are going to make the cuff but for the cuff we are going to work on the right side so i will reattach my yarn and i will reattach it from here oh i didn't cut the yarn so i don't need to reattach it <laughs> it's already there all right so for this cuff we are going to make a reduction i want to reduce my my sleeve into half so i'm just going to go into the first stitch make a single crochet and for the rest of the stitches i will make decreases so this is how i make the decrease i'll go in one stitch like this and get out of the stitch from the other stitch does it make sense let's do it one more time i already worked in this to made a reduction right so now i watch this okay so leave this alone i already worked in them now in these two is where i'll work my stitch i go in like this get out like that and make my single crochet so i'm working in two stitches but only using one stitch okay so i already worked in these two okay so don't work in them now i work my next two so go in like this go out like that Please make sure you notice where you go out so that you don't work in that same stitch because if you do, then you're not making any reductions. We already worked in these two, now I work in these two. Like this. Or if this is confusing for you, do your normal reductions. The way you normally make a reduction, make it that way, okay? Just make sure you have reduced this sleeve into two. But if you, for example, have a big uh, sleeve, 
you don't have to make a reduction in every stitch you can just you know like reduce make reduce a few stitches so for example you could make reduce this yeah and instead of the next stitch making a reduction just make a single crochet okay so here i didn't make a reduction then next one you make a reduction okay and then the next stitch you just make a normal single crochet without making a reduction if you have like a a, a big uh, arm because mine is very slim like really slim okay but me i'm making a reduction in every stitch because i want to reduce my sleeve into two for the cuff okay so i'll be reducing every two stitches into one two stitches into one so if i had for example 30 stitches by the end of it i should have a total number 15 stitches but i think i had about 31 so yeah so i went all around and i'm back to where i started and to close this round off we are going to use a slip stitch so i'm just going to go into this very first single crochet stitch and make a slip stitch so i'll chain one and for this part we are going to be working in one direction so i'll just go into my very first stitch make a single crochet go into the next stitch make a single crochet we are no longer turning our work at the end so we are working in one direction and we are going to make single crochets in every stitch until i get to the end of the round okay so this will be rows of single crochets working round and round and round and once you get to the end slip stitch and start another round until you have your cuff ready i did about uh, about six rows five rows okay five rows all right so i'm done and this is my cuff i have my five rows you'll go ahead and do the other sleeve and once you have your sleeve ready do the cuff and once you have two cuffs then we come and do the neckline okay so your sleeves should be identical it's the same thing i showed you you'll do on the other side and then we want to work on the neckline all right so for the neckline we are going to reattach our yarn this is at the shoulder part and we are going to work single crochets so i'll just go in here with a single crochet go into the next stitch with a single crochet i work from the bottom because i don't want it to be so loose and now I'm going to work single crochets all around. One single crochet in every stitch all around. Like this. Once I get here, I'll work in this stitch here and then come all the way around here. So I went all around. I'm back to where I started and I will close this off with a slip stitch on top of the chain, on top of the single crochet. And then chain one and start on row two. So for round two, it's going to be the same thing, single crochets all through. And it's the same pattern, so you don't need to see every row. Just keep going around until you have enough rows that you want. Okay, so go around like this. Then go around again, and I think I will do three rows or four rows, I'll tell you. 
all right so i'm done and this is how it looks like i did three rows okay so if you want it longer just add a few more rows if you don't want so many then you can do two or one it's up to you so once you're done then just cut off your yarn if you want your sweater to be like the one i was wearing with the skirt you know the crop one it looks like this if you do want it tighter the waist you know it looks like this and you're done okay but if you want to add the tighter waist part then we are going to continue to the next stage but i love this one i really love it i love how it looked with the skirt i love how it looked with the black pants so all right so for those of you who want to continue um we are going to go to the bottom and reattach our yarn and it's still going to be the same pattern we are going to use single crochets okay So reattach your yarn, chain one, and in that very first stitch, you're, you're going to make a single crochet. And I'm going to go into every stitch with, this is my second single crochet. And then I'll go into the third one, three. And then my fourth one, this is four. Okay, so I have four single crochets. And in the next stitch, I'll make a reduction. So I'll go into the first one, get out of the second one. And make a single crochet just to make a reduction I'm working in two stitches so I made a reduction there so I will skip this you see this way I worked I will not work in it and going to the next so I work that is one two three four and then it's time for a reduction then I make a reduction okay and then we start again one two three and four and then we make a reduction and do you realize that i changed my hook size i realized once i was done with this and i had to unravel everything but i didn't want to shoot again but yeah because it's the same thing i just used the wrong hook it happens sometimes so go around until you get to the other side so i went all around like this okay and once i was at the end make a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet chain one and we are now from now on we are just going to work single crochets in every stitch single crochet so single crochet in the first stitch no more reductions no nothing just single crochets in every stitch okay make a single crochet in every stitch yeah so it's going to be the same pattern you will just repeat one single crochet in every stage over and over again once you get to the end of the row slip stitch on top of this first stitch here and then go round and round again until you have the number of rows that you want i did about uh, six rows for mine and this is how it looks i like it and i hope you like it too i don't know which style you're choosing let me know in the comment section if you're doing the longer version the tighter version or you're just you know doing this other version that is crop and and loose and you know i don't know what you're doing so if you want to do the full set i will leave the link in the description and in the comment section and i hope to see you next time thank you for watching bye